The world of cycling is one of the most viewed sports in the world with the crown jewel being the Tour de France and as a result the best performers in that race to an audience of hundreds of millions of people across the race receive a very lucrative salary. But in terms of how much pro cyclists actually earn to go through all the hardship, the crashes, the triumphs of their career, the minimum salary of 2024 is 42,047 euros for the minimum salary and this will rise to 44,150 by 2025 and the exception here is that neo pros they receive a figure of 34,020 euros for the first season but one thing that we'll see in this list of the 10 best performers is that it's not proportional to the UCI ranking that we've already looked into of 2023. Anyways with that out of the way let's look at the 10 most successful riders in terms of salaries first on our list is one rider who was elevated by his 2023 performance in the tour and that was carlos rodriguez who managed to battle his way to fourth place and won a stage along the way his future was up in the air around the race as it was rumored that he would be going to movie star but the young spanish star decided to stay with the british outfit and thereby managed to secure himself a 2.5 million euro a year contract and for ineos grandiers this was very important to retain him as they have had quite a hard time keeping their young superstars. But Carlos Rodriguez looks like he is going to be the man who fills that GC void. As a result, he signed a contract to the end of 2027. Staying with Ineos Grenadiers, the man that should have spearheaded the team in these years is Egan Bernal, the Colombian superstar who earns a figure of 2.5 million a year. The 2019 Tour de France champion has not been the same since his crash in 2022 and had a remarkable comeback in order just to get back on the bike. He has recovered somewhat and has taken part in a number of races, but he isn't the same force that we saw in 2021 at the Giro d'Italia where he dominated the race almost from start to finish. He does have a contract until the end of 2026 and it will be interesting to see if he continues in the sport once that contract is up. As we know, the crash really changed him. Coming in number eight, and this is the first UAT Memorance rider, Adam Yates, who made a big money move from Ineos Grandiers to UAE Team Emirates for the 2023 season. And he really showed that that 2.7 million euro a year salary he receives from the team has definitely been worth it as he managed to finished on the podium once again in the UAE Tour, won the Romandie Tour before most notably finishing third at the Tour de France and of course also won the GP Montreal race. But aside from his results, the single most a crucial role he had for the team was as the last man for Tad Gacha and really showed that he was a vital signing for the team as he frequently was the last man before Tad Gacha and Vingegaard. His contract is until 2025 and maybe he'll have one more contract extension with the team if all goes well. Next on the list is another Ineos Grandiers rider and this is the highest paid one. It's not Garen Thomas, the Tour de France champion, but his countryman of Tom Pickock who's earning 2.5 7 million euros a year. Pickock has demonstrated that he's one of the most unique riders within the peloton. Not only has he won the world championships in cyclocross but also in mountain biking along with his Olympic mountain biking gold from 2021 and in 2023 he hit the big time once again winning Strada Bianchi and also finishing on the podium in Liège Bastogneige which was his first monument podium. But his unique skill set and next level bike control has made him not only a superstar on the road but also a viral sensation when we look back to the incredible descent he did at Strava Bianchi this year but also at the Col de Galibier in 2022. Will Tom Pickcock ever rise to win a Grand Tour such as the Tour de France one day? That is the eternal question but while we wait he has certainly carved out a very unique path for himself in terms of the sport. Next on the list is the double world champion in the road race in 2022 and the time trial in 2023. None other than Remco Evenepoel who reportedly earned 2.8 million euros a year. Since bursting onto the scene in 2018 at the Junior World Championships 
in Innsbruck, he has really lived up to the tag of the next Eddie Merckx, having won numerous stage races already in his young career and even winning the Vuelta España, being the first Belgian rider to win a Grand Tour in many years. And there is no doubt that Sudal Quickstep have complete faith and have bet the house on Remco as a project as the team have largely transitioned from a sprinter classics team to almost entirely a Remco Evenepoel led team. His future was up in the air from the back end of last year but he has a contract that lasts until the end of 2026 and it seems like he is really the forefront if Belgium are going to win the Tour de France or the Giro once again but Sudal Quickstep have certainly done well to back their Belgian superstar. Staying on the Belgian theme, next we have Wout van Aert, who reportedly brings in 3.5 million euros a year. Not sure if that includes the cyclocross bonuses. Wout van Aert has been an incredible rider for Jumbo Visma in the last few years, not only getting big results on his own and winning Tour de France stages, but he has also been instrumental in toppling Tadip Gacha at the Tour de France, helping Jonas Vingo crack him on the Hortogon, and is perhaps the best all-rounder in the peloton right now as he's won on a multitude of terrains and is a true powerhouse of the sport. His contract is until the end of 2026, and it will be interesting to see if he stays with the team or if the recent and rumors of potentially joining Bora Hansgrohe could be on the table. You can't say Wout van Aert without the next rider on this list and that is of course the demigod of the cyclocross Macho van der Poel, the double world champion who reportedly earns 4 million euros a year but this is not including sponsorships and his cyclocross earnings as well so it could be a lot more. Macho van der Poel is an incredible rider that performs brilliantly on the big stage. In 2023 he won Milan San Remo after a terrific descent. He also went on to win Parobay as well as his two world championships both on the road and in cyclocross. Macho van der Poel was even recognized by his own country as he became the Dutch athlete of the year beating out the Formula One superstar Max Verstappen who had an all-conquering season there but what is incredible is that Macho van der Poel has remained with the same team for his entire career and brought them all the way to the world tour and the team has now become one of the forces in both the sprints and the classics. How long will he stay with the team? Probably forever. Next on the list is a rider who recently extended his contract with his team and that is the two-time Tour de France champion Jonas Vingo earning reportedly 4 million euros a year. Vingo joined the team in 2019 and since then has evolved into the best climber in the peloton but this was not reflected in his salary despite the dominance in the 2023 season where he almost also won the Vuelta España on top of the Tour de France win Dauphiné and the Tour of the Basque Country. How long will they stay with their team? It seems like it fits really well and they are 100% in on the Vingo project so I think he will be there for a long time. Before we go into the last two riders, here are some of the notable exceptions on the list, such as the former number one of the most paid rider, Chris Froome, who's no longer even in the top 10 after his extension at Israel Premier Tech saw his salary reduced because the results weren't there. Another point is the team have been relegated since then. And of course, Sepp Kuss, the Welter Espana champion and super domestique, is also perhaps the most notable exception on this list who recently renewed with his team as well. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think of this list as well. But coming into number two, we have the Bora Hansgrohe news superstar that is Primoz Roglic who signed an incredible deal that was too good to turn down for 2024 and 2025, making him 4.5 million euros a year. The Giro d'Italia champion of 2023 had an impressive record in the season. At one point, he was winning 100% of the stage races that he took part in. The only stage race he didn't win was the Vuelta Espana and this was where he was a bit disgruntled after he was denied a shot somewhat at the Vuelta Espana title after team orders. He finished third overall but was able to win stages including the Angler Roof finish and had an incredible form throughout the race. So a move to Borhanskara certainly seems like a good one, a strong team and they are totally aligned behind him. So perhaps he can once and for all tick that box off of winning the Tour de France, the last big race that he wants to put on his Palmares. Coming in at number one and no surprise that the highest paid rider in the world is Tadab Gacha who is not only a character on the bike but also one off the bike but his salary of 6 million euro a year is down to his fierce nature on the bike of course. 
ever since he was picked up by UAE Team Emirates back in 2019 after winning the Tour de l'Avenir in 2018. He is an all-conquering force on the bike and on top of that this year he became the first rider who's won the Tour de France in many years to go on to win the Tour of Flanders which just shows his absolute incredible aptitude on the bike. His impressive record at the Tour de France is also something to behold as he's won two times in 2020 and 2021 but then finishing second in 2022 and 2023. He's the face of UAT Emirates and has shown that he is able to win not only Grand Tours in terms of the Tour, but also winning monuments, being an incredible wrecking ball at Il Lombardia, won Liege Bastien Liege as well, and has almost been on the podium in Milan San Remo. He's a phenomenal force in terms of the cycling world and an incredible gift to this generation of cycling. But his contract is until 2027 and this is one of the longest contracts that we've seen in the sport when it was first announced but with that that's basically it for this list of the top 10 riders with the highest salaries in 2024 if you haven't already make sure to check out the uci top 10 ranking and and if you want to hear more about tarabjaccia why not check out his potential incredible feat of 2024 but with that thank you very much for watching and i will see you around